So last time on Basement Salad, I found all these Thomas the Train toys at the bottom of one of the boxes. And today, I'm going to have a look and see what those are all about. This is the Basement Sellout. So again, as I was going through, I found a bunch of these unopened Thomas the Tank Engine toys. And so I guess what happened here was my parents were just buying these up as they came up and maybe they were going to be birthday presents or replacements for other ones and even there, there's even these uh, dominoes I guess uh, that are in there but really the ones that I played with were the ones that were in this box here uh, there's a couple of unopened ones here that my parents stored away but as I kind of push these to the side and push away the collector cards eventually what I find is the toys that I actually played with as a kid and it was really exciting to open these up. There's Gordon the Big Engine with a sticker for a face. Not as fancy as the new ones. Thomas the Tank Engine, of course, with a sticker for his face. <laughs> these all have stickers for faces. Uh, was kind of the ones that I had when I was a kid. They have fancier ones now, of course. But when I was a kid, just stickers for faces. And there's Henry the Green Engine. And sure enough, my name is etched into the bottom of this. So I know these ones are mine. You can see that they've been played with quite a bit. Uh, Diesel, uh, <laughs> my, my son's favorite, but also the villain, I guess, of the series. Uh, but again, these are these are the really old ones. You see, they most of them have stickers for faces. Uh, there's some uh, train cars in here as well, and they just have these kind of snaps that pull in, which as a kid were super easy to break. Uh, and again, I was just there's this one here, Farfaquar. I was never able to figure out how to pronounce that. Uh, that's in the books even that I'm reading to my kids now. <laughs> I, I don't know how to say the name of that town. But again, uh, oh, Bill and Ben, These go, th those guys were my favorites uh, growing up. Among my favorites, sometimes I have two engines, and I'm not sure how that happened. So I have Percy clones, <laughs> uh, I guess, and uh, you know, troublesome trucks to be pulling along. Uh, with the with the engines there's this one here which doesn't look like I played with a whole lot and I looked into it and it was kind of a special one so we'll see what I do with that Harold uh, the helicopter uh, in very good shape Harold the helicopter in not very good shape missing the blades <laughs> Terrence the tractor again one of my kids favorites right now duck the great western engine by the way I know all these not because I remember it, but because I've been going through uh, the stories uh, with my son, who is absolutely obsessed with Thomas the Tank Engine. Uh, Donald and Douglas, these two engines here. And again, I was just, you know, oh, also another Thomas. For some reason, I had two Thomases and a very old Birdie the Bus. Oh, this one here, the, the wreck train, or I don't know if they call it the record train, uh, but also Boko, again, appears in the, in the series. There's also Clarabelle here, one of the coaches that Thomas carries along with him. Uh, and I guess this one's Daisy, is what I'm remembering from watching it with my son recently. Again, a bunch of train cars and uh, some of the characters as well in really, really good shape. And so as I really start looking through this collection, this is a really, really awesome collection. I think uh, as I go through it, of course, there's a lot of memories with it, but it's a very complete collection, largely in good shape but also in many cases played with uh, pretty <laughs> heavily. Uh, but uh, tons and tons of fun I remember having with these when I was a kid. I also found in the box, uh, again, the ones that were sealed in the boxes. Uh, some coaches and then of course some of the main characters, Birdie the Bus. Uh, there's also this double decker bus, good old Toby. Uh, Toad, I don't remember Toad. And so what I kind of decided with those, I might sell some of those some of the things I had to throw away, like the play mat was really stinking up my basement. <laughs> but really, most of these I'm going to keep. Uh, my son really, really loves Thomas the Tank Engine, and so it really makes sense uh, to hang on to these. Uh, he's too young for them right now. If I gave it to him right now, they would just get absolutely destroyed. Uh, so I'm going to keep those, but I am going to sell these dominoes. I don't remember really playing with those. So a great set. I'm going to keep some, sell some, threw some stuff out but really, really excited to get to play with these with my kids when they're a little bit older.